Okay, and here we are, the last problem of the review. Um, this is problem number two from 2.11. The average cost of a function, uh, sorry, the average cost function for a weekly manufacturing of, a, of portable CD players is given by this function. Now, it's important to note that this is the average cost. It's not asking you to find the average cost of function, so you, it, it's not necessary for you to divide this by x like we've done in some other problems. Okay, so now they're saying where X is the number of CD players manufactured, um, weekly production is currently 3,000 players and is increasing at a rate of 100 players per week. Is the average cost increasing or decreasing? Well, so to find what the average cost is, we could go ahead and um, take the derivative of this. Um, now, to, because that will talk that will, if we take the derivative, that'll speak to the concept of increasing or decreasing, because if the first derivative is greater than zero, if it's aka positive, then you know it is increasing, and if the derivative is less than or equal to zero, then you know it is decreasing. So um, that's a way we can at attack this, is just say, how, what is the derivative? But we need, we need to talk about its derivative not with respect to the change in players. That's not what they're asking. They're asking, um, is the average cost in increasing or decreasing with respect to time? Because we're talking about X is the number of CD players manufactured per week. And that's the key part right here, manufactured per week. So we're going to go ahead and do a derivative, but with respect to time. So therefore, the derivative of C would just be dc dt which is equal to, all right, so here we go. Bring down the negative one, so that'd be 150,000 x to the negative two, but then the derivative of x would be dx dt. Uh, derivative of 20, that's a constant, so that's zero. And then last but not least, that would be 0. 0.0001 dx dt. And now it's very important to be able to stop and read and, and say, what do each of these things mean? And so we go back to just the meaning, of, you know, what is D? D means change. So this is change in cost per change in weeks, it change in time. And we, we defined that as, the problem defined that as weeks. So it would be the change in cost per week, which is equal to all those numbers. And then the key thing we need to keep in track here is the, what is that? Well, X is defined is as X is the number of CD players so that would be the change in CD players, again, per week. So we need to go hunt those things down. It's, and hopefully, uh, we have those values in, in the word problem above. So um, change in cost per week. Well, that's what the problem's asking us for, is, is the average cost increasing or decreasing? So we're, we're going to leave that one alone. We want that, That's our answer. So then um, X is the number of CD players. Do we know the number of CD players that are being um, produced? Let's see if we can find that. Uh, the weekly production is currently 3,000 CD players. So therefore now we know, hey, we've got X equals 3,000. So now all we need to be able to fill in stuff on the right hand side is we need dx dt, the change in CD players per week. And let's see if we can hunt that down. The players, uh, and it is increasing at a rate of 100 players per week. Hey, there it is. So therefore we know dx dt equals 100. So we're ready to start filling stuff in. So here we go. Um, all right, so like we said, we know dc dt is going to stay because that's what the question's asking about minus 150,000 um, x was 3,000 raised to the negative 2 and then dx dt was 100 plus 0 0.0001 and then times 100 and so now you're gonna go ahead and just pop that in your calculator and I'll do that off screen and assuming I typed everything in right, my calculator just spit out negative 1.6566 repeating, um, and which is this, you know, which, which is the approximate, the exact that my calculator would give me in fraction form um, was negative 497, sorry, negative 497 over 300. Um, so there you go. So let's answer the question. 
is the average cost increasing or decreasing? Well, because we see a negative number here, because it is negative, we can now say that we see that the average cost is decreasing. The average cost is decreasing. Hey, and there's your answer. Um, so the trick to related rates is to recognize, so let's kind of recap the trick to related rates is to recognize that the problem isn't asking for the change in cost per unit. It's not asking for dc dx. That would be the units of change in cost per change in unit, change in CD player. It didn't ask for that. Um, it was it started talking about the change in cost per time and the change in CD play a CD player per time. So that was your tip off that you want to do the derivative with respect to time. And so you use implicit differentiation and just every single time you do a derivative of a variable instead of just the variable just taking the derivative of x and being done, you always have to remember to tack on the dx dt. All right, uh, happy reviewing.